Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for a weekly angel reading for August 31st through September 6th, 2015. So let's just take a moment to clear our minds and to align our hearts with the guidance and might I add the abundance of guidance that is surrounding each and every one of you right now. And the guidance that is surrounding you is indicating that they are loyal friends who are always by your side. And they're just waiting for you always to call upon them and to ask for assistance there are many ascended masters with you right now, encouraging you to keep your faith and to rely upon the information and the feedback that they offer you. They want you to pay attention to the red flags that come up. And when you feel or that you have a suspicion um, or should I say, get a sort of a gut feeling about something that maybe you should not pursue or something that doesn't feel right to you, to listen to that, to pay attention to those red flags. Don't dismiss them. And don't let your ego get you, to kind of drag you in to any kind of negativity. Don't allow it to draw you into um, sort of attachments that you have, the attachments that it creates to a sense of, you know, like they're giving me an indication of if there's a lover that, and there's a negative experience there, to not try to hold on to those kind of relationships but they really want you to start prioritizing your soul's purpose, to really start thinking more about yourself and doing what allows you to be happy and allows you to feel connected. When you feel like you've lost your connection, this is an indication that something is draining you or kind of just taking over and not leaving much room for you to be aware of what is right for you and what you need in the moment. So don't allow things like this to come through and kind of get in the way. Before I started, they were indicating that in this week that they were showing me that, you know, you feel like you're crawling out of a hole. And so there may have been some situations in your life recently that have, you know, kind of, you've been kind of buried underneath um, amount of responsibilities or concerns, worries, and that they have impacted your life. But now that you're going to start to feel as though you're crawling out of those places, crawling out from underneath those circumstances and situations. And so when you do this, don't feel as though you need to be alone in this. This is the time to really ask for guidance and to really re uh, go within. And they're writing the word verify. So what they want you to do is validate things that are right for you, okay? Um, in terms of how they feel to you, you know, checking in with your heart center. Um, they also wanting to, for someone to feel safe about uh, publishing a book or going with a book idea or letting some others. There's something about the language that you, they wrote the word lingo. Um, maybe the style of the language that you're concerned about and they want you to know it's perfectly safe and you've been, they want you to go for it, that um, this is something that has been inspired and 
the right word yes by your 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 angels and your soul and the book is uh, going to do very well going forth okay but it's very important that you listen to your heart because it's your heart that's going to verify and validate things for you. Your heart will tell you whether or not you are in something that is right for you or not. It will just feel right. It will, it will feel, um, you will feel sort of a purpose or you feel as though there is room for opportunity. It, this is very different from being afraid, you know, afraid of what people are going to say. That's the ego. Like when you say, I'm afraid that, that people may not like this. I'm afraid that I'm not good enough. That's your ego. But when you have a sense that something's right or something doesn't feel right, that's discernment. Okay? And so pay attention to your heart in that regard. Okay. So let's begin with and take a look at the card from the Archangel Oracle deck for this week. And just again, I'd like to just um, reiterate that you have an abundance of guides, uh, ascendant masters around you actually at this time, and angels. And it just really uh, indicates that the, the forward movement, and there's, they're indicating um, something about the earth and moving forward and I feel like it's a planetary um, shift that's going that's happening and that doors are opening is what they're writing and they wrote the word sought so the things that you've been seeking okay um, they're, they're writing the word ago, ago and after so the sense I'm getting about this is that doors are opening and you know opportunities are opening for you some of the things that from a from a, t a long time ago are going to come through but they're going to come through later and some of those things that from a that you from a long time ago are have shifted and are taking um a new taking you in new avenues and so don't be surprised if somehow there's been sort of a change to your plan but it's better than what you were originally looking at and wanting so don't be don't shut down um, just because it doesn't quite look like what you thought you were where you were headed um, it's just that there's been a revision as is the sense I'm getting and everything has been revised to upgrade to the plan of love that has been implemented for you and this is what is always held um, at the front of the consciousness of the universe, God, to always want to offer you the best and to take you to the best opportunities. So allow this process to unfold. Do not stand in your own way. All right, so let's take a look at the card. All right, and crystal clear intention. So we have the Archangel Michael here. And what I'm really getting about this and hearing from Archangel Michael is focus. And, but different in the way that he means, that he wants you to re really reconnect with your, your purpose, your higher self's um, original, how the dream came to you, the, the, just the, cr the clear intention without all the details, all right, the general feeling that, that you were inspired by becomes this laser beam that just cuts through the, the tape, the red tape, and all of the, the stuff that we, we kind of go through at times that distracts us. And you, you want to go back to wh where your heart began, the initiation on this path which you have begun. Because sometimes, as they say, the devil is in the details. And when we start, the, at first we, when we start with that crystal clear intention, it starts to attract details, opportunities, possibilities, things, you know, potential things for you to choose from. And what kind of tends to happen is that you, 
you start, as you're allowing all of this to come through, sometimes we create room for doubt, and which is like a virus that just starts to alter the perception of the universe just giving you options and choices, you know, because this is about free will. Every step of the way, the power is given to you to make a choice. You know, understanding what your intention is, from that intention, it gives you the choices to so that you can, you know, choose what, what kind of experience you want to have. And so we often forget that this is about the experience. And so what kind of, whatever your intention is, there's always this question of what kind of experience do I Am I choosing? What what lessons? Um, and those lessons don't have to be bad, but they they are for not just only for your growth, but for the entire world. But they're, this, they're showing me this is like a big steering wheel. This concept of choice, and so that for you to stay very focused um, and very much aware about the kind of experience you would choose for yourself. And the best way to choose this experience is to choose it based on the language of the heart. And the language of the heart is, I always go back to how do I want to feel in this experience? That's what I ask myself. Because when I ask myself this question, I'm always speaking to my higher self because it will always choose good. But there are a myriad of, of experiences or expressions or feelings that one can have that range in the realm of being what we term good. But, you know, we, we really shouldn't use this good and bad and play it against one another. Um, as We should look at things that just what's right for us and what's not right for us. And every experience, no matter what it is, is taking you somewhere. It's, it's expanding what you uh, thought was and let you see what what could be, you see. So just be very much aware and stay very, very focused at the place of, you know, from that original tension, then asking yourself, how do I wish to ex have experienced this? How do I want to feel in this experience of my intention? And and when you they, they're showing me when you do this, you just open yourself up to just being very powerful because you're acknowledging the thing that really creates the universe and the world of your experience, which is your feelings. And you're keeping your feelings directed and crystal clear about how you want to feel. All day long, I, you know, this helped me shift the most when I started asking myself, you know, for putting on clothes, eating, whatever it is, how do I want to feel? Because what this has given me is the understanding that I don't have to wait until to be happy. But right now I have the choice always to choose to be happy. And what and we're talking about feelings, we're talking about happy. And so then if I pay attention to how I want to feel, and I ask myself this throughout the day for every choice I want to make through every experience, how do I want to feel? I am deciding and I'm shifting my consciousness to the present it or the what I like to call the eternal now and no longer putting myself in a limbo state where I can't be happy until okay so this is very very important what Archangel Michael is um, bringing up here so just um, so the card says be clear about what you desire and focus upon it without unwavering faith okay so faith is going to be really really important but get back to what you love and why you began your journey because and what your heart inspired in you because you're worried about and it was showing me this about the material aspects you're worried about the details and and you're getting caught up in this is not working and this is working and and what it's doing is taking you away from the big picture that what inspired you and it's and it's like it's like a, a memory loss and so you need to go back because these details are there as a reward, right? They come, they attract from this general vibration of feeling. And so you need to go back there to realign everything so that the experiences that come through start to really match the feeling experience that you're choosing. Do you see, see that? Okay. So let's take a look at the card for the, the week first part of the week okay and 
This card is the um, the thought the helper of thought, and this is the suit um, of swords, and this would normally be the knight. Okay, in this deck, the messenger is the page, the helper is the knight, the um, healer is the the queen, and the guardian is the um, king. So this, the knight, it would indicate. Um, t typically, you know, things moving um, at a quick pace. And I did see this word as I was in my meditation a lot, um, fast. So there's something, and here he has um, the falcon here, or, or hawk, excuse me. And so the hawk um, has a, a keen perception and, and, and sight and really just, so this is about, I feel like in the beginning of the week, you really need to kind of hone in um, and kind of, you're gonna be looking at things from a broader perspective, but at the same time, keeping your eyes sharp on your target, on your goal here. And as you do this, things will kind of speed up for you. So it's this, this is the, what, Archangel Michael is really trying to help you with as you're kind of coming out, crawling out of that hole, trying to get you to to focus in a and a and, and and really get clear about your intention so that things can begin to speed up and you're gonna see from you're gonna be in more of an observer mode and watching the, you know the details just kind of come into place, but at the same time being able to choose the details that that are most suitable for you. So you really want to um, really pay attention to things. And, and this also gives me a sense that to, this card could represent someone uh, coming in like your knight in shining armor who is very articulate or very um, intelligent, you know, and very bright, someone who can really um, get things done very quickly and see the situation and kind of just go towards the 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 root of something and sort of execute the the task with with ease so either this is something that you will be feel all of a sudden you have this energy and this clarity that you will embody or there's someone who's going to come in and kind of be that resource for you someone who can really see everything from you know a, a great I, I want to say a higher perspective and kind of really hone in on the things that are necessary and kind of cut out the, the stuff that isn't, okay? Um, this card says, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to be moving. You've got to get moving. Review the t details as best you can. You know you will meet or someone you know will meet or are someone with a very quick, and let me see what that says, mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous, okay? So, you know, you may be saying to yourself, well, I, I'm not feeling very confident and call on Archangel Michael to boost your faith, to boost your confidence, to help you to um, let go of your fears and to stand in your power. Remember, choose your thoughts wisely, okay? So don't allow yourself to just, you know, let your thoughts, these random thoughts that kind of circulate in the collective consciousness and that frequency where of the ego, don't allow those to just run you and, you know, have you be like a puppet on a string, okay? And kind of hold you up. This is a time where delays are over is what this card, another aspect of what this card is indicating. And so you've got some decisions to make and you will know what to do. Just choose the, choose the feeling experience you wish to have and move forward, okay? All right, but don't doubt the experience. I get that this is something you should move on. All right, let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. All right, and we have the seven of action. Okay, so this is usually the seven of wands. And this card gives me always a sense of having an advantage, okay? Because usually you'll see that this, you know, the, the wands from below and this person's kind of at the top. And 
yes, you have some things to deal with. You know, you got these six other people, but below you, and you may be, they may be trying to help. I mean, we don't really know. We always assume that um, they're working against you. They're just like, they're like an opposition, but they may be trying to help. And it, but the thing that is clear is that you are in, you have the choice here to decide how you want to perceive the situation. And um, the, the number seven is about, is a number of mastery. So, you know, this, whatever the card represents, what it looks like, you're asked to choose the higher position here um, and of consciousness. And, and they're showing me um, something like a scroll, which for me usually represents credentials. And I feel like the, the, what they're trying to say here is that you're concerned about qualifications. I don't know if this has to do with you or someone else, but I feel like it has to do with you. And the thing that they're saying is, whether it's you or somebody else whether that's in this position, they wrote the word safe. You're safe, okay? And this is really telling me in the context of what I'm seeing that um, you have what it takes here. And in this situation, in this sense, this is about wands, about career, um, that in this situation, you're the one that's, go that's going to be your own worst enemy here. Hmm. Do we hear that? So if you keep fighting with yourself and, you know, they're saying that this is just creates delays. Um, and so you need to stop that inner struggle. Look at, look, you have a choice here. Now, here we see this the, the little girl and she has a choice about what she wants to do with that snowball and how she wants to use it. So recognize this for yourself. Make a choice decision about how you want to use your power. Okay. Make a decision about how you want to use your power in this week. Do you want to waste it on continuing to doubt yourself um, or struggling or fighting with yourself? Or do you want to take that and, and decide what level of experience, feeling experience that you wish to have in this situation and then set that as your target and aim, okay? So it's an interesting how this is kind of, she's like a, like the sky is kind of like a cameo around her. So the, I feel like at the middle of the week, there's a big, uh, like everything's like the universe is shining its light on you. And you are going to be, feel like you're at the center of everything. And this is, a, I feel like this is going to be an important um, decision of, that you're going to make. And, and it has to be about choosing choosing love, choosing your higher self's goals, and not getting swayed by other things, okay? They're writing the word gallery as if to say, don't get caught up in, you know, all the little pictures. Focus on the picture that you want to live, not the, the many, many ones, but focus on the one that you want to live out. And then they're, they're indicating a raise, so a raise in consciousness, possibly a, a raise, a promotion for you, um, or some kind of financial increase will come about for you. So, so choose. They're saying don't be afraid um, to come out. And, 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 and they say you're wise, right in the word sage. Um, and this is about turning it right in the word page, about turning a new page in your life. Okay? So allow this. Allow this to happen. I feel like I'm also seeing the word cure. So this may be the cure-all for everything that's been ailing you, quote-unquote, so to speak, lately. All right? In your life. Let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. All right. And the card is Go Within. I feel like for the last three weeks, we've had this pattern of some kind of card at the end of the week that is kind of like, I know last week was a 10 of... Um, wands or the ten of action but it was the week before that was like the four of swords and it's kind of like this card is like go within and it's just feeling like the beginning of our last three weeks are kind of busy <laughs> and intense and then by the weekend we kind of really need to regroup somehow or we need to um reprocess or reevaluate and this is no different in this week so with this card being a major arcana card and the high priestess, there is, this is about really going in and letting your intuition be your guide 
um, not only just for the weekend, but throughout the week, okay? Um, I feel like that you want to take a look back and see what see what your what your your source has been guiding you okay um not only in this week but i'm getting a sense over the the last you know few weeks or a period this recent period where you've we've been experiencing a lot of healing we've been experiencing a lot of shifts um some challenges with that and some lessons and where has this taken us? Where is this bringing us now? What what are we? And this is all getting back, getting very clear. So at the end of the week, you really need to, you know, reevaluate. Um, take some time. How how focused were you on your your goals, your heart's goal? How where where did you get off in the week? Where did you succeed? And this is not to look at, at back with any judgment or to take us out of the present moment, but to, to l really look at this through the present moment because what I want you to do is in this moment and what they're guiding you to do right now is to pay attention to over the weekend, where, how does your, where, where, has, where has your energy evolved to? Is it, is, has it improved or has it not improved? And that's very much being in the present because now you need to look and see not to fix it, like to try to worry about why you did this, but you need to see, have make this assessment so you can then make the immediate correction to implement the solutions and to listen to your guidance, asking them, how do I need, what do I need to do to correct my, or to, you know, keep going or to make it better? What was, if something was better, then how do I make it better? And maybe that's just the general question that we're asking in this weekend. How do I make it better? you know, uh, for myself. And if better means just relax, breathe, and allow, then let it be. Okay, but they're also showing me this would be a great time over the weekend to journal and to just really spend the time over the weekend journaling throughout the day. How do you feel as you've, you know, the choices that you made in that day? How do I feel? What's the feel and experience I'm getting from this, um, the decision I made or some of the decisions I made today. You don't have to pick at every little one, but pick out some of the most prominent ones that's kind of stuck out to you for the day because this will get this will get you into this understanding of how powerful your choosing your intention, your feeling intention is in every moment and and that you will begin to see yourself as less of a victim and more of the victor and that you can actually affect profound change, not just for yourself, but for others, especially your loved ones and your children and family members who are watching you and learning from you. You can really teach them through your own example. So I just get a sense that this, the priest is it, the high priestess, the, the inner goddess, but also wise one, um, you know, brings this to us for the weekend so that we continue, because I feel like the the weeks are going to continue to like jump like this and be similar. We have these big breakthroughs of all sorts of breakthroughs, okay? Some are going to be wonderful, some are going to be rocky, but they are going to be um, immensely life-changing, or I'm hearing life-altering, okay? So let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. Well, this is not the end of the week. I'm sorry. This is the card I pulled from the bottom of the deck, which represents the underlying influence of this week's reading uh, or the energy that is moving and creating the momentum of what we're experiencing on the surface. So we need to get down to the depths of what's really happening here. And this is what this card from the bottom does. And, it's, and this is the six. This is the lover's card. So just what I'm getting a sense from this card is that, as it says... The, everything that's happening is helping your heart to open up, to be clear, to become your true source of guidance. So long the, in the old platform, this, this, our heart has been uh, perplexed and, and complex with so many of our the things that the ego was throwing into the mix in our own sense of per, our perception of failure and success, etc., and so all of this is getting cleared up and aligned to match 
the vibration of the creator. And it's just so beautiful to say that. And so allow yourself now to fall in love with life, even though you're going through these life-altering experiences, but they're taking you to a profound realization of who you truly are and what you truly desire and allowing you to manifest that, bring that together, create a relationship, a life experience relationship with source and soul that becomes unified and whole. So I send you all lots of love and angel blessings and thank you so much for joining me again each week and for subscribing and um, for liking the videos and leaving your comments. And if you're looking for an angel reading, you can find me uh, my website, theangelschool.com, which you can find in the description link below, as well as to join us on Facebook uh, for the Daily Card Messages Monday through Friday. And um, they've been really um, eye-opening for me, and just so much comes through. So I know that you will enjoy reading them and, uh, um, and seeing what your guides and angels have to say to you through those Daily Card Messages. So we are surrounding you all with the light and love of God and his angels. Until next week, God bless you.